It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's awkward Tuesday phone call. Everybody has their bucket list, right? Things you want to do oh. before you die. Yeah. Like go skydiving or finally finish that novel. Yeah. For me, it's finding that raccoon that gave me stink eye back in 1997. What? <laughs> he and I... Are going to have words someday. Someday. Yeah. And then my life will be complete and I can scratch that off of my bucket list. I think about him every single morning when I wake up. And I will find that raccoon. That's your motivation, huh? Yeah, it is. That's (laughs) how I get out of bed every day. And Joyce is on the phone right now for an awkward Tuesday phone call. Apparently she got something marked off of her bucket list. And now she needs to do an awkward Tuesday phone call about it. Joyce, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you track down a raccoon too, or was it something else? Um, no. My, uh, my husband. Is that like a raccoon? I don't know. I don't know. Is your husband a large varmint who likes to dig around in trash cans around your neighborhood? No, I really have to be nice. No, he's not. He's wonderful. Okay. He's like a baby unicorn. Oh, baby unicorn. That's a nice, I bet he'll love that description of himself. So why do you need to do an awkward Tuesday phone call to this beautiful baby unicorn that you call a husband? Well, because um, we've been married for a really long time. We had a few kids. And, well, I lied to him. Okay. Okay. You okay. lied? He's out of town. And I told him that I was going to do some adjustments, some, some, like, um, some, some stuff on the house, some construction on the house. Okay, so you, okay, wait, hold you on. told like, him you were going to do construction on the house. Like renovations, is that what you mean? Yes, that's the word I was looking for. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yes, I, did, I told him that I was going to do some renovations on the house. And he's been asking me for pictures and um and like i said i lied okay so you what? did you so you, i'm <laughs> yeah trying to track with you here so you told him that you were going to be doing renovations on the house but you haven't been is that what you're saying yeah okay so why do you lie about the renovations well you know every wife you know does their little things and i really really wanted to and i thought that i deserved some <clears throat> Some plastic surgery, and I spent twenty grand. What? He's gonna be really mad. Whoa! Is that why? Are you on drugs as we speak? Is that why this is (laughs) happening like this? What's happening like this? I mean, I'm on a little bit of medication. Yes, it's still a little bit painful. (laughs) Do I sound funny? No, Uh, not at all. (laughs) Not one bit. You just, you sound like you're nervous about making this phone call. That's what you sound like. What work did you get done? 20 grand. Yeah, that's a lot. I got a breast augmentation Uh and a tummy tuck. Okay, so you got your boobies done and your tummy done. And a little bit of liposuction. And that cost you about $20,000. And you told him that you were spending $20,000 on home renovations. Yes. So you renovated, just not the house. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Why, after this long of a marriage, would you not feel okay to talk to him about your insecurities and why you want plastic surgery? I wanted to surprise him. Oh, well, that is going to happen. He is going to be surprised (laughs) for sure. Do you think he's going to be mad? I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe. How long has he been out of town for? For about five weeks. For it's, about five weeks. And when does he come back? Next week. Next week. Okay. So have you guys ever talked about plastic surgery prior to this? Yeah, I tell him I want it all the time and he always tells me no. Oh, oh yeah. So he already doesn't want you to do it. And where did you get the $20,000 to get this done? I got it out of our joint savings account. So um, he thinks it's for the renovations, but it's really for my um, plastic surgery. Oof. Yeah, and I'm, I'm guessing like any major purchase like this is usually a decision you guys come to together. <laughs> no, I made this decision on my own. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. I think we know that. I think she, what she was saying was he probably would have preferred that you talk to him first. Well, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. That's okay. Good. We're all on the same page. Yeah, we're we've got it all together now. We figured it out. I know what I should have done. What, 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 what should you what have is done? That? Well, because he said no. So, you so what should you have done? Well, 
I should have done it the way I did it because doing it the right way never worked. <laughs> okay, so Got it. You, so what you did you, yeah. is the right way to do it. Now you just need to tell him what you did. Well, it's not the right way. It's actually the wrong way, but the right way doesn't work. I feel like Lucy Ricardo right now. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's like an I love Lucy let's reference. Just keep, let's just move on. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what we'll do is we'll play a song, come back, and then you can make your Awkward Tuesday phone call, all right? Okay, but will you tell me what to say? A part of me wants to say no, not at all, but we'll try. Yeah. All righty. All righty. <laughs> Hang on. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. If you're just joining us for today's Awkward Tuesday phone call, it's already awkward and no <laughs> phone call has been made. That's a good point. Just judging by the conversation we just had with Joyce. She needs to call her husband and come clean about something. He went out of town on business for about a month or two. And she said while he was gone, she would do some renovations on the house. So she would take $20,000 out of their account and get some work done on the house while he was gone. But she didn't do any work on the house. Instead, she used the money for new boobs and tummy tucks, costing around $20,000. And now she needs to call him and say that that's what she used the money for. Because I guess he's been asking for pictures of the home renovations <laughs> nonstop. I mean, Joyce, based on our conversation earlier, where you may still be on some painkillers, <laughs> Has he not noticed that you've been acting a little strange over the last course of the month? I think everything's been fine. Our conversations have been normal. Okay. Oh. And what are you going to do if he just freaks out on you? I mean, I'm assuming he's probably going to be pretty angry. I don't know. I'm sure he'll be mad until he sees it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, oh he'll have a God. nice place to rest his head <laughs> when you guys embrace, and yeah. it'll make him feel better. But the thing is, he said no. I mean, when you guys had talked about this, he's like, no. Just because he wants to be a cheap <laughs> Grand. All right, I don't know how well this is going to go, but I will dial his phone number right now, and hopefully he okay, answers. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, wait. What? Okay, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. Now you're ready. No, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to dial his phone number. Hopefully he answers, and oh, you can make your so Awkward easy. Tuesday phone call. Here we go. Oh. Hello? Hi, honey. How are you? Joyce, I didn't recognize the number. Well, I'm I'm calling from from the computer. What? You're calling from the computer? Yeah, you know, it's like a Skype number. Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> How you doing, uh, honey? I'm good. I miss you. I miss you too, sweetie. Yeah. Um, I I have to confess something to you. You gotta you gotta confess something to me. Yeah. Okay. I lied about something very huge. You lied about something? Yeah, I'm sorry. You sound um, a little sad. What's going on? Well, I'm scared to tell you that I didn't, I wasn't making renovations on the house, really. Wait, wait, wait. You lied about renovations on the house? Yes, I'm sorry. So that's why you haven't been sending me the pictures that I've been asking for? Yes, precisely. So now I guess I, I just need to ask you because I don't understand this. Where the hell did that $20,000 go? Well, you know how it's going to be our 25th anniversary next week and all? Yeah, I'm aware of that. And I'm such a good, wonderful wife, right? Yeah, you've been a wonderful wife. <laughs> and it's my present to you for our 25th anniversary. You spent the $20,000 on the RV we've been looking at. No, something better than an RV. I got my boobs done and I got um, a tummy tuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not. I did. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Yeah, I asked you for the money for the renovation on the house, but um, I got a boob job and a tummy tuck instead with the 20 grand. Wait, you're totally serious. You got a boob job again. Oh. Uh-huh. What? 
But I got a good boob job this time, not a cheapo discount sweetie, one. Sweetie, sweetie, you just went from a 34B to a 38 double D two years ago. And now yeah. you got another boob job? Yeah, they were cross-eyed. They were what? You know. One, no, pointed, no, one, no. one pointed the other way. I got them fixed. They're beautiful now. Perfect. Did I, oh my God. Did I seem unhappy with the job you had done two years ago? No, but I didn't right. like it. Listen, if anybody needs one, it's our daughter, honey. Oh, my God. Awkward. What? <laughs> that is so That crazy. took a weird turn. What, what, oh, what was that? Oh my What's up, gosh. Nick? How are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. Huh? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. It's a radio show. Have you heard of us? No, never heard of you. Okay. Well, Joyce has heard of us, and Joyce wanted to call you today in a segment we do called the Awkward Tuesday Phone Call. It's where if you have some sort of an issue, you can ask our advice as long as you make an awkward phone call in exchange. And so Joyce wanted to call you today to tell you that she spent that $20,000 on, I guess, her second boob job in two years. And you feel like the money would be better spent on your daughter getting a boob job? anything other than my wife getting a second one in two years. No, no, go back to that comment. You can't come back from saying that you want your daughter to get a boob job. That is... Well, I have a 21-year-old daughter that's flat. My wife is like, you know, she's pretty well off. You're a father! You're supposed to think your daughter's perfect the way she is. Yeah, she could use a boob job, poor thing. I mean, her, the freshman year of college, they were calling her a pirate's dream, you know? She came home crying about that. What? What does that even mean? Sunken chest. Pirate's Sunken. dream. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. So, wait. You two are in agreement. <laughs> I can't even get it out. <laughs> that you want your 21 year old to get a boob job because she's... I'm not saying I want my 21 year old to get a boob job. I'm saying it, the money would have been better spent had she got it instead of my wife getting the second one in two years. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. You know, I should have thought about that. She sure could use them, but um, I don't know if she wants them or not. If she does, I'll take them, and I'll take her in two years when she's twenty-three, and I get my third boob job. Oh, no, what? Uh, listen, listen to you. You're talking insane. I can't believe we're having this conversation. But you just said yourself she needs them, and I could go for moral support I said and get. It would have made more sense to spend the money on our daughter. That doesn't mean I want you to spend the money on our daughter. No more boob jobs. For anyone in our family. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's it. I just don't even. <laughs> Why are you so mean? <laughs> mean. I'm just... not being mean. I'm being fiscally normal. Yes. I mean, this, that's sound advice for anybody. Can't be throwing 20 grand out the window on boobs. We don't need them. <laughs> this is, family's got enough Sorry. boobs. We don't need any more boobs in this family. You sound ridiculous. Are you listening to yourself? No, I'm not listening to myself. I'm listening to my wife, who's being more ridiculous. You know, Nick, I'm confident that when you see me, you won't feel so angry anymore. You're so confident, are you? Yeah, they're oh, wonderful. I'm, ho I'm, I'm hoping that you're right. <laughs> I'm hoping that you're right, yeah. Sweetie, couldn't you have just spent the money on an RV? Well, yeah. Do you want an RV, too? I'll go back <laughs> no. to the bank. Instead of your second boob job, couldn't we have spent that $20,000 on a, a new RV? That would have made me really I happy. have a good idea. Let's go get an RV. <laughs> <laughs> You're not listening. We don't have the money anymore for an RV. <laughs> Oh, my God, I get it. We don't have the money now because of my boobs. Yeah, that's exactly what I've been saying. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, oh, wow. I don't know you guys very well, but I wish you guys were my parents. What? Because, because you want a boob job yourself? No, I just, any yeah. kind of interaction with you guys would be amazing to watch. I'm enjoying you, too. Oh. Oh my god. Oh well, honey, I'm really sorry. I really didn't mean to upset you right before our anniversary. I was hoping that you'd be happy. <laughs>
Well, I'm sure I'll be happy when I see you, but I'm not really happy right now. (laughs) I just can't wait to see you so you can squeeze me all over. Oh, Oh, my God. You're not even my parents. It's like still gross. Don't do that. (laughs) Yippee-i-yo-ki-yay. Oh, my God. Stop it. Broken Jubal in the morning. Text in at 78592 that accurately describes today's Awkward Tuesday phone call. All it says is that is one weird-ass family. Yeah. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning yeah. talking about today's Awkward Tuesday phone call. A woman named Joyce wanted to call her husband named Nick. He was out of town on work for like two months or something, yeah. and she decided to get him a 25th wedding anniversary present. Aww. She decided to get her boobs done and a little tummy tuck. Hey. She spent like $20,000, but she claimed that it was on renovations for the house. So while he was away on business, he was like, let me see some updates of the house. And she couldn't show him any because she didn't yeah. actually update the house. So she thought she would do an awkward Tuesday phone call to inform him that she actually spent the money on her body. He was upset about that, but then he got weird. Yeah. He said so during weird. it, he's like, if anybody needs boobs, it's our daughter. <laughs> And then they had a conversation about their daughter's boobs. We also found out that it wasn't the first boob boob job Joyce had. She had one a few years ago and just basically got an update. So he was upset about that. There was no real resolution. (laughs) (laughs) Them just arguing back and forth and being very strange. Which is probably how you survive 25 years of marriage in that relationship. Yeah, it it sounds like they were still happy, though. You just keep it going. I don't know know? what she was on, but I think she's permanently happy right now, at least. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know if she'll even remember the phone call. No, I don't even know she (laughs) did it. I mean, it actually might be illegal that we even put her on the phone oh, no. <laughs> without her knowledge. But the, here's the thing: the husband didn't sound too shocked to hear her high no. like right? that. I think no, they've had. I, mean, a, there was no... I think they've had a lot of conversations like this, so it yeah. was really no shock to him. Yeah. The most shocking thing was their oh, conversation man. about their daughter. That was just strange. Remember, if you want to do an awkward Tuesday phone call, you have an issue that you need our help with. Email us. We'll give you some advice as long as you make a very awkward phone call in exchange. Moving 92.5.